Canadian Scrapbooker Magazine web show. My name is Jackie. Ruffles. No fabric needed. Stay tuned. Looking for that perfect little piece of ribbon to go with your project that you just created? Look no further than a matching piece of patterned paper. Right here on this card that I created, you can see this beautiful little uh, cute ruffle that I made using paper. And that's what we're going to create today. Start off with a strip of pa uh, patterned paper. Right now I have this piece from Quick Quotes. You're gonna grab it like that. Make it any size that you want, of course, to, to match the needs of your layout. You're gonna fold it once over. There you see it. And then you're going to make a tiny fold, a very tiny fold back. Can you see that? Just like that. And I'm gonna take my finger, about a finger, and again, you can make this as thick or as thin as you want, but for the purposes of this, I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker so that it's easier for you to see. I'm gonna fold it back one finger length. Can you see that now? Got the fold. And then I'm going to repeat it with that little tiny fold that I did at the beginning. So this is what the back looks like. That's what the front looks like. I'm gonna create another one. So I'm again, again gonna go that one finger. I'm gonna fold. These are the pleats that we're creating in the ruffle. Now the beauty of this uh, technique is, is, is that you can use the back side of this pattern paper or you can use the front side of the pattern paper. I created this really cute polar bear card using Harmony pattern paper. The ruffle ribbon that you see at the top there uh, comes, is popped up even more because I used scrapbook adhesives by 3L foam squares so that it really pops off the page. These scalloped ovals are from Spellbinders. They're die cut shapes. I inked them with some clear snap color box fluid chalk ink and I used a little Stampin' Up Snowflake uh, stamp for the snowflakes in the background. The Merry Christmas Dear Friend is also a Stampin' Up stamp. The little bling dots that you see are my favorite, the Robin's Nest Dewdrops. And of course, that little sparkly scarf that you see on the polar bear is Ranger Industries Stickles. What I want you to do is take this ruffle technique that we just taught you and put it on something for home decor. It doesn't always have to stay on your layouts or on your cards. Here we created a cupcake tree and I added these uh, ruffles that you see around the edges here using some scrapbook adhesives by 3L Foam Squares. It was really easy to do, and you can imagine that you can change the pattern paper to match any theme, Christmas, Easter, birthday parties, anything that you do at home. So it's fast, easy, and very cost effective. Lots of fun. So, have fun making ruffles, and make sure that you send us your projects. I'd love to see what you do uh, with this ruffle technique. Till next time, take care and happy scrapbooking.